friends and followers, in this video we are going to tear down this W56 smartwatch which is by far the best copy of Apple Watch. We'll have to heat up the display to loosen up the adhesive underneath. Gently slice the layer of adhesive using prying tool. Make sure not to insert the prying tool deep inside or you might break the flex cable. You will see my mistake soon. As you can see I cut the flex cable by mistake as the blade was very sharp and I did not even feel cutting the flex cable. Teardowns are not recommended if your watch is working properly because once the watch is opened it's very rare that the watch will still function properly. So leave the teardown part on me. All the watches which I've opened are of no use and this is the first teardown video of W56 smartwatch. If you guys like watching such videos, then please hit the subscribe button to enjoy such videos in future. There is one Phillips head screw holding the motherboard. This is the first watch which has got smallest motherboard. No wonder the technology is growing day by day. This watch has got massive battery with 235mAh capacity. This watch lasts for 3 days easily on single charge. HW22 has got 200mAh capacity. HW12 has got 180mAh. FK88 and W26 Plus has got 220mAh. And none of these watches last not more than 2 days. This is a loudspeaker which is sealed inside this black plastic. Let's remove the sensor plate and see how the wireless charging works. This is the inductive coil for wireless charging. The charger will also have same number of tons which will produce magnetic flux. 
when supply is given it will transmit that power to this coil and then this coil will receive electric power and this is how the battery will charge these are the chips for touch control and charging protection This is MediaTek 2502 microprocessor which is ultra small and mainly used for wearable devices. It has got inbuilt Bluetooth driver with 260 MHz frequency and 4 GB of memory. It's a tedious process making such videos. But for you guys it just takes 1 second hitting the subscribe button. I hope this video was useful and you guys liked it. Thank you for watching.